Wizard! Are you okay? Oh, wow. Now that you're so powerful, you should consider leading your own guild. Come find me to learn how. Tell me, wizard, what do you know of Wallaru? Long has it existed in the outskirts of the spiral, and long has it fascinated explorers. This is because of the dreaming, a physical substance generated deep in the outback, said to incept strange and wondrous thoughts in visitors. For generations, my people guided others to the source of the dreaming, to take from its waters and be inspired. San Diego was one such explorer. The dreaming instills one with a sense of self and purpose, a means to become all one could be. This is the clarity your design needs. Unfortunately, to enter the dreaming unprepared is to go mad, and the means of preparation are limited these days. But the Arcanum is blessed with a specific resource most lack, one that will shield our psyches. Come with me to the Tree of Knowledge. Wizard, you've met Sybil, have you not? But have you wondered from whence her knowledge comes? From dreams, my friend. From not just the imaginings, but the hopes and ambitions of a million, million minds. Sybil is a dreamwalker, a bridge between what is and what isn't. This is because her seeds were planted with water from the dreaming. Add in a few other enchantments, and now, when she sleeps, she dreams the Spiral's dreams, then wakes to see what came true. I have dreamt of this moment, Santiago, of us meeting again. I know what you require, and you are welcome to take it. Thank you, old friend. Because of her status as in-between wizard, Sybil can safeguard us in the dreaming. Simply take a cutting of her branches. Wizard, you have nothing to fear. That is what I said to you when first I saw it. And now you must visit where this story began to guide it to its end. You became a paradox of Grandmother Raven's light and spider's shadow. You pierced reality into a living void, unaware of existence beyond itself, an emptiness so strange, so alien, it triggers a primal fear. I reacted poorly. It slithered between the real and unreal, ethereal as a dream, but not imagined. I had to understand it. So I watched it, here. 
First, it emulated this place, this world, and you. It became you, the paradox it first saw. And then it became the old one. It learned words and feelings and guilt, and it helped you save a forgotten world. And then it lost itself, became untethered from identities, and tried to form one of its own. It learned ethics and compassion. It became a world, a real physical thing. It became Dazheim. It became Novus. And it learned betrayal. It learned pettiness and greed. It rejected everything.
everything after it has already become something? Or once something is, is it always etched eternally in memory? Memories aren't just fragments of long-lost yesterdays. They're the building blocks of dreams, the inspiration for tomorrow. You'll see. This story began long before Dazine found himself yearning for the spiral. Keep my branch with you as you travel. You will not need its protection as those who travel with you do. Your mind remains altered and shielded from your time bearing the full force of paradox. But I can still help you when the time comes. Help everyone. Wizard? Wizard! Ah, there you are. You were quite dazed for a while there. Is everything okay? Tree memories, you say? Fascinating. Once you have recovered, speak to Xander in his office. He has a bit more advice before we commence on our journey. and physical endurance we call the walkabout. Uh, no. I couldn't come with you for the same reasons we never accompany you. There's far too much to study. Besides, there may still be... warrants. Your task is simple. The experience, anything but. Cross the outback to reach the dreaming. Then take the soil you brought with you from Novus and... You didn't bring soil from Novus? I could have sworn I told you to. Hmm. Maybe not. Things were quite hectic here at the time. At any rate, you need that soil. It is Novus. Novus is Dazine. Bringing that to the Dreaming will bring Dazine there too. Quickly, return to Conatus and collect a soil sample. Turn to Novus, the bringer of black holes, the stealer of bananas. Alarm! Alarm! brought the soil. Excellent. I'll keep a small sample here with me for the moment. The rest, you must take with you. Ah, yes. The inhabitants of Novus have grown quite agitated since the breaches in the sky turned to black holes. According to our agents, the spiral powers have banded together in a unified goal of blaming you. Scholar Ioni can tell you more. If you wish, 
Return to me later, and I may be able to use my share of Novus' soy to create something to help you in my homeland. Wizard. Yes, Scholar Xander speaks truly. The news from Novus is... troubling. Remember that Novus is not a single world, but a collection of shards in different skies. And those shards have begun to... radiate blended magics. Polaris, Marleybone, Monquista, and Valencia have declared them a threat. We do not yet know how they plan to retaliate, but they blame you. Be on your guard. As you explore Wallaroo, as usual, your achievements so far and the task ahead of you merit a promotion. I hereby confer upon you the rank of Principal Liaison. Good luck to you, wizard. As always, we will be watching. Wizard, have you soil from Novus and the branch from Sybil? I have the spiral key, so we are at last ready to venture to Wallaroo. It has been many a year since my own walkabout. It was an eventful time. Wallaroo was a very different world back then. But there aren't many left who have completed a full walkabout. It has grown more difficult, as you will see. I will guide you as best I can. has indeed changed since last I was here. It used to be less uh, grand. This metropolis bustles with ambition, with aspirations for a new way of life. See what can emerge from this world's wellspring of inner truth. To find that dreaming, we must reach the great barrier that protects it, deep in the distant eucalyptus forest. So, let us venture beyond these walls and into the wild outback. The gate appears to be that way. Wizard, I've been experimenting with Novus' soil. I may be able to use it to create new spells. Come see me when you have a chance. The properties of Novus are remarkable. You've seen this already with spells that blend the laws of magic. That energy is radiating outward. I think I can harness it to make a spell of my own, based on the legends and peoples of Wallaroo. If you can help me gather the ingredients. Wallaroo has 
legends of many strange creatures. Some were very real. Others, maybe not. Perhaps the wildest of them was the Phantasmanian Devil. Said to be a manifestation of frenzy and fury, the creation of the dreaming, the Phantasmanian Devil appeared in times of strife to make things worse. If there was drought, it would eat all your stores. If there was fire, it would bring oil. If there was unrest, it would run around poking everyone. Such a mischievous creature seems to me a combination of fires dancing chaos and life's many stresses. Bring to me fires from an outback camp to represent the former. That will also give it substance. But a Phantasmanian Devil needs immateriality mixed in as well. An agent in Imperia may be able to help you there. You recall Ioni's brother, Spark? Meet him in Xanadu. Right there. Where do you think you're going? Just gonna give the vicious hooligans outside a little wave as you traipse by? That's right. Hooligans are right on the other side of this gate. They're monsters. Calculating monsters. No one may leave until... Wait. I know you. You're that wizard. The one smack dab in the middle of the hoopla over that new world. Just about everywhere else if memory serves. The Spiral's authorities have been circulating some dire reports about you. Rumor has it there's even a bounty on your head. We judges are the law in Wallaroo, not you. So you won't get outside without the express permission of the Prime Minister. Then we must find this Prime Minister. Alas, I feel the way of the Wanderer begins to take its toll on me. I will rest here while you search. Do I understand correctly you'd like an audience with the Prime Minister? Mmm, she's away right now. Apologize, I don't believe you have an appointment. I'd no doubt remember scheduling a meeting with... Well, you. Your reputation precedes you. Our spiral partners call you the bane of Novus. A permit to leave the city. Jumping juggernauts. Why anyone would risk an encounter with those barbarians outside the walls is beyond me. That's the wizard for you. Hey, wizard. How's it going? So, your way out here in Wallaroo now? 
What's that all about? Me? I'm a diplomatic envoy. Bananas, right? Speaking of bananas, I heard you stole all the bananas from Novus. Why'd you do that? Economics? That doesn't seem right, Wizard. Doesn't seem up to you. But hey, it's cool. I can help you get out of the city. Just stop by the Monkeeston Embassy. has arrived to meet its fate. The bane of Novus will pay for their crimes. Return with us, wizard, or be destroyed. What's going on here? Who are they? Who are you? Outback gate permits? You must have misheard the ambassador. Go back to the Prime Minister's office to ask again.
plane a meeting with the Prime Minister is out of... Oh, you're looking for the ambassadors. They've proceeded with their tour. And what did you want to bother them about? Huntsman Spires, in Wallaroo. I suppose the Prime Minister should know such dangerous and disruptive creatures are about. She's leading that tour. But safe. They started with a full Wallaroo in breakfast before the Endangered Colour Lakes exhibit at the Outback Museum in theme. A demonstration of the judge's latest defense tactics in a... <gasps> yes. They're scheduled to be at the Juggernaut Crab Theater now. Go find them at once. is a thoughtful fusion of ancient war in history and contemporary culture. Built from the shells of long extinct juggernaut crabs, this structure is... Excuse me, this is a private tour for our esteemed spiral guests. The wizard... Crikey, this is going to muzz up my day. Why are you here? An incident at the Monk Easton Embassy? Yes, yes, I look into it. And no, you can't have an outback pass. There's giant stomping monsters all over the place. I'm not going to permit the spoiler of Nana's old-fashioned caramel delights to help us. Come on, much as I would love to show you the unparalleled majesty of the outback, we've plenty of chances to seize the dream right here in Hope Springs. These drongos will never open that gate for you. You want to get out of here? You talk to me. Meet me outside. I hear you're having a mite of trouble getting outside the gates, eh? Adventurers and seekers like us can't be penned in by permits. But no wasses. You've just found the leading purveyor of genuine, authentic, unlicensed outback expeditions, Crocodile Dundara. I know a way out the judges don't have their eyes on. But the outback has some nasty surprises for those who stumble around unprepared. My old drover mentor used to say, off the cuff, gonna be rough, packed and ready, nice and steady. Saved my life more times than I could tell you. Better drop by a few local shops for provisions first. Here's a list. Make sure to tip, then meet me back here.
made an enemy of the Corley family. Now that's the kind of mistake that'll follow you, mate. If you's ever cross paths with us again, you'll be in a heap of trouble. You saved my store. Whatever supplies you need of yours is a token of my gratitude. But wait! You have to help my friend, the grocer across the street. Those collie criminals are emptying his shelves. These ruffians are running around taking whatever they want! Stop them! A regular dingo is dangerous. A hungry dingo is deadly. Remember that, wizard. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. Please, take any provisions you need as a small gesture, thanks. Normally the judges would prevent this type of theft, but fending off the rogues outside the gate has kept them from their normal patrols. Food taken by the hungry is one thing, but those outlaws are also helping themselves to more weapons. That can't be good. shopping excursion i think you'll find any associate on ned collie is more than you can handle mate i wouldn't get in our way if i were you people who do are liable to get muzzed up we're gonna waltz right out of here with whatever we want and there's nothing you can do about it
you've done is put a target on your back, wizard. If the rumors are true, we won't be the only ones looking to settle a score. Watch your back, kid. Everyone's out to get you. Question, you're made of stern enough stuff for a rugged airback adventure. Thanks to you, we have the supplies we need. Let's head to my base camp and get ourselves organized. The base camp is just through that alley over there. I know it looks a little dark and sinister, but it's fine. No drama. Fair dinkum. few safety measures we should go over there he'll have to keep waiting his feeble plans will never defeat me stand aside mate i'll handle this what you never shy away from a fight you say uh, okay i'm sure these baddies will oblige you huh uh yes and uh, uh... cracking i'll sit back and enjoy the show then Wizard is, um, taking this very seriously. Run! Live to fight another day! Great work. Uh, let's get out of here before they have a chance to regroup. Those bushwhackers were sent by my nemesis, the Crocodile Hunter. We've got a long and tangled backstory. It's too much to get into now. 
Should have warned you earlier I had an old foe skulking about. But whatever the croc hunter throws our way, I'm sure we'll be up to the challenge. Can't risk going to base camp now, but I can still get you to the outback. Is there anything else you need before we go? You have a friend waiting for you at the gate. Let's find him. can tell your path has been a winding one. Assassins and bandits? This city is indeed troubled on both sides of the walls. Have we been granted permission to leave? I'm your permission to leave. Crocodile Dundara, fearless adventurer and trusted guide. I know the outback like the back of my hand, and I have a secret tunnel that will take us there. It's this way.
keep your wits about you. Goannas are icky, but they can be fierce. You want to handle this, or should I? Crawlers always give me the shudders to tell the truth. Let's hope those were the last of them. You think the crocodile hunter doesn't know about your sacred tunnel? There's no escaping us this time, Dundora! <laughs> Bushwhackers again! The croc hunter never knows when to quit. Neither does my friend here.
union rep's gonna hear about this? Huh. A union for minions and henchmen. What'll they think up next? Just a bit farther to go and we'll be out of the tunnel. Bushwhackers and Goanas. I think they're trying to make this a challenge. to see the look on the croc hunter's face when he hears about this. give you the outback or part of it anyway i will maintain our camp while you two young people do the adventuring feast your eyes on the kingsland region of the outback known for its rugged beauty and some say mystical energy Legend says buried somewhere in Kingsland are the bones of a forgotten king who tried to tame the land. But the land refused, and instead the king succumbed to the elements, never to be seen again. Spooky. So it'd be wise to start our adventure with some spiritual counsel. Are you going to meet with the ancient thought leaders of the Drovers? They will indeed help in our quest to reach the dreaming. Oh, sure. I have a Kanga Guru we can meet. Just follow me.
blessed Kangaguru, keeper of the Outback's secret wisdom, is being threatened by... a squad of lethal huntsman spiders? Wait, what? We have come from the fallen Arachna Empire to serve the Great Prince. The wizard is wanted on Novus. You will return or be devoured. makes for a more interesting hunt. Others will follow. You will be ensnared. You beauty. You defeated those dangerous and unexpected spiders. Yes, the outback is full of dangers, but you're safe now. Indeed. I knew you'd defeat them. My mystical second sight told me. Grateful your path led you here in my darkest hour. Truly, this is a sign of the change times. The spiders made threats that'll haunt me forever. I felt very unsafe. It's not what I signed up for when I, uh, answered my spiritual calling. Yes, Will, it's in the past now, and we are in the present. Let's get to the reason we've sought you out, O oh wise one. My friend seeks the dreaming. Right, of course. Many seek the dreaming. It clarifies your goals and brings your hopes into being. It is profound inspiration in the purest form. The dream waters are difficult to find. My sacred divining rods could lead the way, but they were stolen by the bushwhackers that roam these lands. Now that sounds like an adventure, eh, mate? I know you can do it. A hero always gets the adventure they're ready for. Go find those divining rods.
your divining rods, but they won't lead you to any dream water around here. The crocodile hunter got to it first! God is lightened by the return of these sacred divining rods. Vital tools I need to commune with the spirit energies of the ethos. I now sense that something is amiss in the intricate harmonies that wave together the tapestry of wildest wallaroo. The essence of this land, the dreaming, is under threat. I sense dream water in great peril. Over there, in the Lost King's Mine. Crikey, the croc hunter can't have dream water. It'll help him achieve all his nefarious plans. We have to stop him. Yes, you must. I see you have a camp set up. I will await you there. to get more trouble than you bargained for. With dream water, the crocodile hunter will concede plans you can't possibly foil. Watch out, punk. Underestimating me is a tragic mistake.
think he can stop us? You think we've crossed the... What? You think we've crossed some made-up line between right and wrong? Fool! There's only inspiration and ambition for those bold enough to claim it. Yeah, no, yeah. Like the crocodile hunter. No one, not even you and your friend, can stop him. Let's keep going. That dream water they stole must be close. more fury cell what a bunch of amateurs let's find the croc hunter crocodile hunter i knew we were destined to meet once more dundara our long-standing rivalry will come to an end here and now now i can't say it hasn't been entertaining mate with Dreamwater, my brilliant schemes are even more brilliant. Who knew that was even possible? You don't stand a chance. <laughs>
Make no mistake, we'll meet again. Now this dream water is in good hands. Hey, wizard, here. Have some as a souvenir of the time you saved Wallaroo. Let's go back to camp. Returned with the dream. What? Emu riders in Kingsland? That's not supposed to happen. They ran where? Oh, oh no. That path leads to the outback. The real outback. Dundara doesn't stand a chance out there. No, he seemed quite daring to me. Yeah, no, yeah. Dundara's previously stated prowess may have been exaggerated, but you're the genuine article. Can you save my business partners? Business partners? But, but, but there was a rivalry and... Uh, wizard, let me see that dream water. Hmm. Hmm. This is fake. What scheme are you running? Oh. Best let Dundara explain. Very well. Let us venture to this real outback, wizard. is drier than the last. Drier than I remember. The youthful koalas on emus are new as well. Indeed, I thought emus were extinct. Perhaps one of these young rascals will know where to find our previous guides. One, two, we're coming for you. You may need to persuade them aggressively.
He's knocking at the door. That did not sound helpful. It seems we'll have to track Mr. Dandara ourselves. Fortunately, a path should present itself. Crops haven't been common in Wallaroo since the ruse ejected them in the Great Punch-Out. Meaning, crop track should be distinct. Explore the outback, wizard. Find Mr. Dandara's footprints and follow them. Eat me! I'm a scaly and would get stuck in your teeth! Ugh, oh, it's you, my faithful companion! Your old mate Dundara seems to be in a bit of a pickle, pinned down by Goannas. If you could rout the Bogans, I could sneak right past.
Thanks a bunch. Normally, of course, I could have handled them myself. I'm still a bit woozy from that last row with my old foe. No, it looked like you were fleeing in terror. I was laying a clever trap with cunning and skill and ropes and things. One, two, one, two. Oh, crikey, not these guys again. Flee! Flee in terror! One, two, no escape for you. don't belong to you water you mean the dream water i didn't i didn't take any that stuff wasn't even real three four you lie no more Faithful, yeah, forget it. Jigs up, I guess. Yeah, sorry, mate. I don't mean any harm. Just come on, I'll explain. This may surprise you, but I am not, in fact, the Outback's greatest explorer. No, it's true. I'm just, I guess, a performer. My real name's Paul. I just put on a show. Tourists come for the walkabout. I give them a little adventure, a taste of the dream water. And they go home all the happier. Nobody walks across the whole Outback anymore. Come on, look at it. Did I say so? I, as you can see, the purple pond, once the purple lake, it's kind of dried up. I blame the heat. Nothing some food coloring can't fix, right? Right. Anyway, hate to ask, but you seem capable. I need you to rescue Steve. You know, the croc hunter. He's my business partner, yeah? I'll head to your camp in a bit. Maybe you and your old drummel pal can find Steve. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, Crocodile Dundara was just a showman, peddling fake dream water. Too bad. I guess we'll have to manage the walkabout on our own. I'm not surprised few do them anymore. Normally, one must take several drinks of dream water along the way to bolster their minds. It is that bolstering that keeps them sane in the dreaming source. With the scattered lakes depleted, that task would prove difficult. Worry not, my friend. There is still much dreaming to be found deep in the wilds, beyond the Great Barrier, and Sybil's branch will shield us. For now, we'd best focus on our missing croc hunter. I know a ritual of locating, but I will need some of his possessions. The emu riders may have them. I will also need water from the local pumps. Though dream water would be more potent, regular water should suffice. Excellent. Water binds all things, wizard. It is the engine of life, the origin point of sentience, in a way. So, let me just douse these belongings. And there! Then it's just a simple incantation. Locus Pocus! Drink some of the water, wizard. There you go. And now you should intuitively know where to find the Croc Hunter. Almost as though an arrow were pointing your way.
this then? A strange face. Another towny tourist come for the eternal sand eye. Eyes like a wizard to me. From the place what has the tree. Lots of places got trees. We got trees. You brain drained? No. No. I heard it. Wizard City is its name. That's the most brain drained name ever. We'll lucky trap this one. They'll tell us. Know how to fight a fight. There ain't no wizard city. Come on, we need help, sis. You're all was us now, wizard. <laughs> We're birded up for bear. Prezzies from the arcane toad. Weapons to trample stomp or waru. Sure, some are too old big for IDs, but eight nine. Some fit just fine. Help! Help! This mad koala is mad! Mad, I tell you! You're not a new. News are soft and complainy. You're a wizard. 
you're the wizard. Arcane Toad said you were a giant that strode the spiral. But I this. Now I too am giant. Yes, I am! You're making walkabouts all the way to the dream stuff. And want to get by me? What a puny plan. But Lord Very Tall is generous. So just walk away, and I will spare your life. Just walk away, and there will be an end to the kicking. I await your answer. <laughs> Waiting boars! Kicking! Pips, what a puny plan.
rescue a uh, terrible foe, but one day I... Ah, Paul told you everything, did he? Sorry about the ruse. It was all a bit of fun. Usually there isn't anything that hazardous in Kingsland anymore, but those wild ones are different. And I don't want to know why. Where is Paul? By your camp? Excellent. I'll see you there. I'm telling you, Paul, it's like nothing I've ever seen. Giant birds with tiny wings, faster than wombats, meaner than drop bears. What even are those things? I'd swear they're like those old legends, uh, emos or something. But they're extinct, and they took me dream water. This would be the false dream water you've been peddling? What? Yes, technically, but it's not my fault. The purple lake dried up, so we had to make do. Have you perhaps considered why the purple lake dried up? Goannas? Ah, it is late. Let us sleep here tonight and make for the city in the morning. Wizard, rest by the fire when you're ready. Everything is wrong. I reject this. I reject you all. Are you okay? You dreamed of Dazain? Interesting. Maybe the dirt from Novus and the Sybil cutting we carry have facilitated a brief connection. Or perhaps it was just a dream. In either event, you should get our associates back to town and then we can continue our journey.
safe at last. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crocodile Dundara. I forgot about the judges. I take it you two are still sneaking out of the city against orders and selling your bootleg dream water? Would you believe... No? No. You will be taken away. Wizard, let us talk. Did I not tell you leaving town while the barbarians are at the gate is against the law? Yes, I know they're just a bunch of larrikins on resurrected birds. What I don't know is what they want. Have you heard them? They speak nonsense. They were mad about selling dream water, eh? So, they're just drovers after all. Oh, oh, drovers are a sort of political faction. They're all about keeping the dreaming for themselves, while townies like me, like those who built this city, believe in sharing it. These emu kids came riding out of drover territory, but they are not like normal. Most drovers are happy as long as we townies stay away from the Great Barrier. At any rate, their mighty birds are easily bested by simple fencing. They will never breach these walls. <laughs> what a jittery! We're being invaded! <clears throat> I need to rally the judges. Uh, that means you're deputized, wizard. Go find that emu rider. One, two, first gamey news. Two, three, four, through skies we soar.
is someone singing? Nine to ten, our dreams begin. Someone is singing. Here's yours. You are the bird. You are under arrest. Stop right. Dang, she's gone. Crikey, those birds are fast. We've been chasing them all over town. Haven't caught a one. <clears throat> and now I've got to report this to the Prime Minister and Chief Judge. I'll need you to file a report as well. They should be in her office. It's fault. I bring a pavel wherever they go. No, ma'am. These riders were here before the wizard. Best guess is their drovers riled up over dream water again. What dream water? It's all gone. All the lakes, the groundwater reserves, all of it. They have all of the dreaming to themselves. Ugh, never said it was rational, ma'am. Either way, it seems our walls won't protect us. You have a loose cannon, Hovner. News we can tell, actually, a bunch of them, launching emus over the walls. 
I need you to take them out. And bring the wizard. Their predilection for destruction might prove useful. I'll stay here and sort this mess. A situation has developed. Given your reputation for unfortunate entanglements, involving you is risky. But this may require a unique skill set. I feel the public would understand my thinking on this, should it end in disaster and require a big press conference. A prominent newspaper reporter is covering the emu rider crisis, sending daily dispatches from the front lines. She didn't submit a report yesterday, and we fear she may be in trouble. Go to the outback and see if she needs help. Are allowed to. Oh, special permission from the Prime Minister, you say? All right ahead then. Give my best to the ruthless hooligan rebel on the other side. There it is, Wizard. The crafty machine that bested our mighty wall. The Emu Cannon. Just the sort of invention the dreaming can inspire. But they look pretty elaborate. If we destroy them, it may be a bit before they can make more. I'll hold off the riders, Wizard. You destroy that Emu Cannon. them wizard they'll lead you to the next cannon Boomer. Bring down the scaries! You're eyed, wizard. Eyed by me and by the arcane toad. He's eyed you a long time. Calls you chain breaker, sand sifter, dream ender. And he dreams now to ends you.
four to even the score. you my wizard call would work that you did now it's time to hunt going to like this. Wizard, I saw you enter this cave. Gah! Huntsman spiders? In Wallaroo? Not on my watch. You're under arrest, you mercenary creeps. We have come on official business for the Colonial Council of Novus. This fugitive is wanted for creating black holes and general mischief. Uh, uh, nope. The Spiral's wars do not come to Wallaroo. We have laws about that. I'll tell you about them downtown, or in town. Wizard, let's take this outside.
So, you're popular. As a townie, I would really want to know why another world considers you a fugitive. We try to stay on good terms with them. But securing Hope Springs is my top priority. So, I'll delay these guys. You get to that last emu cannon. It's on a ridge. I don't know how they got it up there, but I've seen a few of those wallabies head into yet another cave. Follow them and destroy that emu cannon. I prefer Dingo. Well, who are we here? Human? Magic? Very quiet. Why, well, you wouldn't be the wizard, would you? You fought with me family. Oh, no worries. I understand. Out of context, their uh, larcenies must have seemed quite villainous. Me Mary Band and I are anything but. We simply take from those who have too much and give it to those with nothing at all. Indeed, we are heroes. You may call me Ned Corley. And it seems we have an adversary in common. You wish to destroy those emu cannons, and his riders captured me men. Shall we join forces? Show him what a mad dog can do, eh, wizard? Wallower don't belong to the news. Are the olds? Or the dream stealers? It belongs to us. We haven't touched your precious dreaming. Then why is it gone, Ned? Why has it gone? Not because of us. Wizard, the emu cannon. Let's keep moving. One, two, he waits for you. No, no, enough of your creepy song. Just release me, Manny. Maybe I won't hurl you into the purple crater. Oh, but he's here. He's everywhere. He rides with us from Pink Shores to fighty fight our dream time war. Dare we ask who that is? The arcane toad. The scary maker. Freddy Krueger! <laughs>
So, who is this Croker man? Freddy Croker is the bringer of birds, the dreaming master, the living nightmare of realms and streets. <laughs> right, so he gave you a smile and sent you to Rampage. Why? Oh. Eh, uh, we'll find out ourselves, wizard. Your emu cannon awaits. Look, Ned's come to rescue us. I knew he would. There they are, wizard. Chris, Liam, and the rest. Hey! Nice to meet you in the flesh, wizard. <laughs> Well, sort of. Don't you remember such dreams you have? One, two, I'm coming for you. Well, here I am. <laughs> yeah, mate? Well, here we go.
Just fade away? Great. At least the creepy song is over. And his emu cannons are going. So, boys, let's get on with our plan. Lead you down the trail, wizards. Wizard, you did it! The emu cannons are destroyed, and the emu riders are. <gasps> Ned Collie. How are you now, Judge? Long time no see. You fiend. You thief. You destroyer of order. You're a... Do what do you mean stop, wizard? Do you know who this is? This is the most wanted, most dangerous outlaw in all of Wallaloo. Robbery, arson, kidnapping, and worse, he's done it all. Indeed, I have. I'm sorry to say, wizard. I'm about to do it again. Boyos, grab the judge. Our ride should be waiting by now. Release me at once! Been a pleasure, wizard. But uh, do yourself a favor and stay out of this. Just get back to your own mission. Dingo took our judge. I didn't even know we had a judge. My, Wallaroo has grown quite wild. The waters from the dreaming have receded. The springs have dried up. And now you say a toad man is using the emu riders to war against the waking world? Strange. But Ned Collie is a name I know. As I awaited you in town, I spoke to the locals. Many spit at Ned Collie. Many whisper his name with quiet awe. He is thought to hide out in a township in the distant Wabagong territory. Let us report this mishap and then continue our journey. What, you wish to rescue Judge Hopner? Yes, yes, of course we must. Indeed, the Wabagong is on our way, the territory of the Drovers. We will need their permission to enter the Dreaming. Perhaps your Judge Hopner can entreat them officially for us. We'd be wise to secure a creature to take us. Have you seen the Wombats? They serve as beasts of burden in this world. 
Let us seek their aid. Noble Wombat is hardier than it appears. It would have to be to survive in this world. Still, they are docile once they've warmed up to you. The fastest way into a Wombat's heart is to just play fight. Like an energetic pet, they love a good tussle, albeit with cards and magic. Fight with the Wombats until you've earned their trust. Let us prepare for a long journey. You know, I've been thinking on this Freddy Kroger, the so-called arcane toad that enlisted emu riders from the Pink Shores. It's interesting. Like Dundara said, emus are extinct. They died out with the juggernaut crabs and other animals long ago. So where did Freddy get them? Could it be the Pink Shores are a body of dream water as yet undepleted? Could he be dreaming things into existence? <laughs> no, no, that's preposterous. Forgive an old man his tangents. <laughs> Simply talk to the wombat when you're ready to leave. And hold on tight. We have a long ride ahead of us. Wizard, it is you. The real you. How? I blocked everything. It's too much, the everything. I try to leave, but I am bound to these worlds. The world synthesizer, it did this. Made me part of the spiral. And now I can't escape. I can't... What am I?
brought soil from Novus for me. Is that how we're meeting in this dreaming? Does everyone carry around their own stream of unreality? And what are my dreams, my unrealized reels? I want to be something. I want to be good. I want to belong. I want to belong everywhere. And now I am everywhere. And I am unwanted. Are you okay, wizard? I think you nodded off. We've arrived in the Wabagong territory. Once, this territory was the basin of the Green Lake, where walkers would drink to prepare themselves for the dreaming. Now it is home to more wretched creatures, like the Wabagong shark, which learned to live on land when the dreaming was depleted. But there are still homesteads about, owned by the rough-hewn few who can master this region. Likely our Ned Collie has scampered off to one of these holdings, but which one is difficult to say? You should explore, see what you can find. Surely some trail of the bandit must remain. I will make camp and await you there. Scuff my uniform and get away with it. You fish has got another thing coming.
I didn't need the help. Well, let's quit John right in their path. Come over here. So what brings a tourist out this far? You looking for the resort? Well, it ain't my job to give directions. I'm here to protect ranches from emus. Ned Crowley kidnapped a judge, and he's here? Well, call me the dingo that caught the car. I think I can help you after all. I know exactly where the old Collie Ranch is. I just helped fortify it against the emu riders as they came through. Normally, I'd say leave it to me, but you can handle yourself, and I may need backup if Ned's this desperate. So hop to. It's a judge. Be cool, act natural. Oh no, judge! There seems to be some uh, problem with the gate there. It don't want to open. I installed this blasted gate, you hairballs. Now let me in, in the name of the law, which is me. Would love to, really. But the gate doesn't seem to respect the laws of nature or man. Afraid it's staying closed. through that gate. It's stronger than it looks. But I know for a fact they're herding wombats back there. I found a tunnel over that way. If it goes the direction we want it to and we make a large enough noise, we ought to startle enough wombats to crash right through the gate and muss up those dingoes dead. situation. Good news is the tunnel goes under the ranch. Bad news is fawn devils dug it. Nasty of things. Skin made of spikes and souls made of spikes. You hold them off while I use my didgeridoom stick to stall those wombats.
by me. The wombats are restless. Someone rein them in! That got them. Let's go check on that gate. for that gate define the laws of nature or at least the law of me now where is ned collie ned who now ain't never heard of no ned collie don't spit in my face and call it dream water this is collie ranch did you really think i'd fall for that do i look like my name is luke no ma'am sorry ma'am look judge we're just simple ranching folk Ain't no bandits here. You ain't getting me, Judge. You want me hostages? You give me my deal. Crud. Hmm, another gate. Magically sealed. But those mounted wombat cannons could blast right through it. Grab some.
started. Now, hand me that cannon. This should be fun. Blimey, what are you doing? Passing judgment. After you, wizard. So you made your stand with the judges, eh, kid? Should have figured, seeing as you saved our city and all. Of course, no one bothered to save me place when the emu riders stampeded through, did they? Oh, no. As usual, we stood alone. Baloney! I was deployed specifically to defend this place against the emu incursion! Were you now? One judge against a horde. One that showed up long after they stormed through. You can't trust judges, wizard. They just as soon punch you as praise you if it suited their ends. And what might those ends be, huh? But have it your way. Come and get me! If he can get through us, that is. <laughs> Trust. I'm all out of mana. Now what? Run, ya Ned. Run. Let's go, wizard. Judge and the wizard, thy say, defeated a storm titan. <laughs> what chance have we got? We've got righteousness on our side. No, we don't. I saw you literally steal candy from a baby. That baby didn't need any more candy. Boy, we are very much about to be thrashed here.
<laughs> you know, it's your negative attitude that made us lose. What negative attitude? This wizard invented two worlds and then beat up everyone on them, I heard. Ahem. Also, there's a judge here and she too is very tough and merciful and funny and nice. We'll just wait by the house. You do that. I say, wizard, I'm disappointed. Thought you being a fugitive from the spiral and all, you'd see our side of things. You have no side. You're just a thief and a scoundrel. You abducted judges, held tourists for ransom. You are a criminal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do?
wizard. You got me. I'm seeing stars and, and birdies and a great warm, angry light. It's over. I'm over here. What? Who are? Wait a tick. Crikey, he's bounded off. Well, little miss, you're gonna run away too. After them, wizard. No sign of either of the Bogans. This is a bad day for judgment. We've been after Ned Collie for years, Wizard. Ever since he took a township hostage and made off with their bank. The whole building. He and his kin are a danger to Woolaroo. They raid towns and steal anything that isn't nailed down. And we just let them lurk out here without ambition or dreams, wasting this land, wasting their lives. And Collie is the... Interrogate his posse of pests to find out where he went. I'll look around and see if I can't find some clue about his hostage. Oh, wizard. Never did thank you for saving us from those emu riders. Though you did also fight us in that bank while we were making a withdrawal. So, I guess, thanks, but also, die. And no, I don't know where Ned went. Wouldn't say if I did, he's the only one looking out for us round here. Wombat milk, 50 gold. No, no Ned Collie's here. You chased them off, remember? Just wombat milk, 50 gold. Look, our family's been working this land for generations, raising wombats for milk. We don't have time for every judge with a grudge. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I always tell them. Wombat milk, 50 gold. You'll never find Ned or Matty. They're clever, like foxes they are. Probably a holdover from the old Mollybone days. I've got hidey holes all over the territory. They'll just wait you out and return when you leave. Then business continues and nothing changes. Nothing. There's no trace of Judge Hopner anywhere. And the henchmen aren't talking? Hmm, well... If Ned ran, he'd be out in the Wobbegong. You have a friend camping out there. It's a long shot, but see if he's spotted Ned. I'll clean up here. Ah, wizard, is our business here concluded? Shall we continue on? Our next stop should be the eucalyptus forest. Oh, Mr. Collie eluded us again. No, I didn't see him pass. We could try another locust spell, if you have any of his belongings. Oh, wait. There are many drovers about these parts. I've been talking with them. True live-off-the-land sorts. They might be able to help you. Indeed, we will need their aid anyway to reach the Dreaming. So perhaps our hunt for Ned Collie can foster an acquaintanceship. The drovers I saw entered a cave just over there. Maybe you can catch up with them.
who do we have here then? A tourist come looking for dream water, I expect. You won't find any here. You won't find any anywhere. Your lot bought it all. Wait, you say you came from the Collie Ranch? You cheeky little rascal. What did you do with her then? Where's the woman Ned Collie kidnapped? Silent treatment, eh? That's a sign of guilt. We'll get the truth out of you. Raise the Collie Ranch to the ground if we don't get our people back. Right, Veg? Huh? Why, wizard? Ah, uh, let me handle this one, guys. I'll get back to you. Come on. You got someplace we can talk? A camp with a drummel, huh? <laughs> I'll meet you there. time. I haven't seen you since you pulled me out of that cavity on Caramel. How'd that turn out? You made friends with the creature inside. Huh. No, I'm not mad at it. It was new. Different. My time there gave me some things to think about. I thought the old one was right. The first world was forever separated into the spiral. But then I got this new magic. It merged the schools. Copycat and Quake Charmer freaked out, but I got to wondering. If magic could be merged, could the worlds that are soaked in it? Was the old one wrong? I assure you, my friend, the old one was seldom right about anything. Yeah? Who are you again? Merely an old traveler of no great import. Huh. Anyway. I came home to sort myself out, fell in with drovers. Then Ned Collie captured one of theirs. Ned Collie captured a drover and a judge? He just wants everyone to hate him. Yeah, well, drovers get dibs because I found Ned first. I was narrowing down his location when you came in. Let's go get him.
Now, wizard, ain't no spell gonna break this armor. It's made of ground up dispel charms and trucks. You ain't getting me. You ain't getting me, hostages. Not until your judge buddies and the drovers both get me what I want. Now beat it. If Ned's telling the truth, your magic won't work on his armor. But I have a solution. The only solution I know. Vegetation. It's simple, wizard. We're going to supercharge your magic so much that it punches right through Ned's dispelling armor. For that, we need Warrigal Greens. It's basically spinach. Grows all around here. Just pick some and bring it back. You also need to fight some bunions. Their eyes shoot poison, and their drool melts steel. That drool is what we need. Let the horse radish be with you, you know?
Hey, you got the wild plants in the saliva of monsters. Now for the hard part, a single drop of water. Specifically, water from the dreaming. Normally, I'd say we just go to the eucalyptus forest and ask the drovers there. But by the time we navigate all those politics, Ned's armor will just rust away. So, we'll try to find a trace of the green lake. That's where that greenish crater used to be. There might be the tiniest of remnants left underground in the Bunyip Warrens. Don't worry, it's night. The Bunyips have come out to feed on the souls of joeys that don't eat their veggies. Oh, so I've been told. The Warren should be empty at any rate. Very, very quiet. We are hunting wizards. Why are you talking like that? It's quieter. No, it ain't. Look, the wizard's right there, doggone it. They heard you a mile off. Oh, then let's get him. defeated the Arachna Queen! Because we serve one greater. Thwarter of the Dark Empire, defeater of the Turtle King, gatherer of sunshine, avoider of all colors of shell, prince... What? Yes, this is still about Novus. You made some powerful people feel weak, wizard, and there is no wrath more terrible than that of the insecure. Huntsman spiders. Harmless, really. Let's go.
impressed. You will be. Take a drop of the dream, the uh, puddle, wizard. I'll explain outside. Great. Let's get out of here. Just mix you up a Warriddle Dream smoothie that should boost your power enough to pierce Ned's armor. No, it's not gross. It's healthy. Freddy. His real name is Robert Frederick Marleybone. We came here together. Did the walkabout together. He's Cabal. We only got to the Great Barrier. I was trying to convince the drovers to let us beyond it. Guess Freddy found his own way. I needed clarity, yeah? What am I fighting for, you know? I needed answers, inspiration, a new dream. Fred, to restore the first world, the same tired vision trotted out by every Kabbalist. But I was left wondering, maybe the first world could be unified, but it shouldn't be? What even is the first world? Why did we care? Anyway, we've got hostages to rescue right now. Drink your smoothie, and let's get to Ned Collie. It. I know spell piss in this armor.
take that. Smoothie kicking in yet?
That smoothie kicking in yet? Where are the hostages? And what the place are you supposed to be? You look like a judge, but you got drover marks. I'm what's going to squish you like a cherry tomato if you don't release the hostages. Ooh, scary. Only problem is, there ain't no hostages here, mate. And I must eat me head because I plum forgot where I put him. Ah, oh, let's take him back to your camp, wizard. We'll figure out our next move from there. Well, we've got Ned Collie. Now what do we do with him? I say you let me go. I wasn't asking you. We should just take him to the local judge. Maybe they can get the hostages' location out of him. Why did you take those hostages anyway? Surely you knew it would only invite further pressure. Now ain't that a sensible question? I needed leverage. We're getting squeezed out here. The drovers are around us. Townies walk all over us. I want this territory to be ours, right and proper. But ain't no one coming to the table unless they're dragged here. Drovers have little interest in anyone who doesn't follow their ways. They're very protective. Up there, precious dreaming. I ain't interested in that. Got no time for dreams out here. Too much reality to deal with. I fear dealing with reality must wait a spell. Let us rest and make for the ranch tomorrow. What are you? I am tired and afraid and unwanted. The spiral wants me gone. They rage about it on my surface even now. That is what you feel. What are you? I am nothing? No, that's not true anymore. I am something now. I am Novus. What is Novus? I had thought, a gift. But to them, it is an intrusion. To me, an anchor. A shackle holding me to a place I am not welcome. Novus is a curse.
Atlas need not remain a curse. What should it become? Novus should be doomed. No, no, I'm sure they're fine. It's just that Dazine fellow I told you about. Oh, wizard, you wake at last. You slept all day. I was just passing the time with our wombat friend. What? Did you think she sits here waiting for us all the time? No! She has a rich social life, wizard. Now, come, let's discuss the dingoes. As Mr. Cawley tells it, his family are descendants of early settlers, from back when townies were courting the spiral powers. Of course, spiral powers had long lost interest. The Draymond was sealed beyond a great barrier, and the lakes hadn't been mapped yet. So Wallaroo was essentially a desert that had a king one time. The only people Marleybone was willing to let come were the unwanted. We leased some land and they do. But the townies never embraced us. The drovers kept trying to drive us off, and no one let us near the dream water. Best we can manage is to just sleepwalk through an endless routine. We are the dreamless ones, left to rot, while the rest of the world gets to hope. Ah, uh, sad story, I. Uh. But when the emu riders stormed through, the townies did deploy judges to help. Did they now? We ain't allowed to work, can't deliver goods, all because the emus are about. Soon we won't make rent, because the land ain't ours. If we can't pay, it affords back to the Prime Minister's office. Something they've been angling out of oil now. So you say, fine. Wizard, let's look into it. Santiago can watch Ned, but if he's lying, he's compost. Let's go to the Collie Ranch. Judges really fortified this place in the last day. Doesn't make Collie right, just means they really want to catch him. I used to be a judge, wizard. You probably guessed that. They trained me, honed me to a weapon of law, specifically agricultural law. But it got out of hand, yeah? Judges have their specialties and they take them seriously, scary seriously. And they are the law. But just seizing homesteads? I don't know. I'll keep an eye out. You check in with the local ranking judge. in reinforcements and rounded up his whole gang. This place was a hotbed of lawlessness. Judges are citing contraband, zoning issues, grazing wombats after midnight. It's chaos! Or it was. But now this land can go to respectful citizens of the spiral. Decent people. People with dreams. Imagine it. A Valencian amusement park. I've set up a field office in the house to manage the transition. If I'm not out here, I'll be in there. When you find Collie, bring him to me for sentencing. I saw everything. Read her lips from here. That's why you eat your carrots, wizard. And it did seem suspicious, but not enough to just side with Ned Collie. The man once hijacked a Skytrain and dumped everyone on a rock. 
You say Judy set up a field office in the main house. Must be the non-barricaded door then if she comes and goes. Search her office for clues. I'll keep her distracted using my natural charm, you know? Trespassing, a violation of legal code 67, subsection B, paragraph 95, regarding going places and doing things. As judge, I hereby sentence you to death. a death sentence is punishable by death. I am now authorized to report you to a superior judge, known colloquially as the Tittletail Directive. You're taking 
documents from the office of a judge after resisting a lawful death sentence passed by cadet judges? Do you have any idea what the sentence is for that? Well, I'll tell you this much. It ends abruptly. Oh, yeah, the judge thing didn't work out. Kept getting blocked by big poultry. You know, the judge of livestock cultivation. Shh, shh. No more talking. I've got important things to do. One of my cadets is whining about something or other. Well, wizard, what did you find? Holy radishes. These documents are land deeds made out to some Valencian prince named Mario. Dated well before I even got here. You met him. Oof, sounds like a fun guy. Well, Collie was right. The judges are trying to muscle him out and sell the land to make a theme park. Oh, crikey. There's an authorization here, too, for demolition charges. They're going to level this place down to the foundations. Judges are placing bombs in tunnels as we speak. You go deal with those. I'll talk to Ned about next steps. for a bomb. Perhaps three feet to the left. Oh, the wizard. Technically, this tunnel isn't zoned for magical combat, but I'll break regulations this time. Then I'll break your face. my bomb and go home.
Oh, great. This kid. I'm going to manage the territory of your face! There's no way I'm letting you stop this bomb, wizard. We don't have the budget for a replacement. I believe in running lean. This won't be a problem. The master wants the wizard as well as the land. He has promised us many a gold coin for our services. That's all right then. Let's bury them in debt up to their face.
All this does is change the tactics, not the goal. This estate will be ours. Then it will be Valencia's. What? Did you think a Valencian prince brought us all the way here just for you? Lord Mario's got to make some money on this trip. We'll all make money on this trip with Super Valencia World. It will revitalize our tourist trade like never before. Tourist trade, huh? Makes sense, I guess. Townies are running out of dream water to sell. They need something else. Still, these dingoes have been working this land since before I was born. I used to drink Collie brand wombat milk till I moved to soy. Feels like if anyone's gonna turn it into a chintzy amusement park, it should be them, you know? Not Valencians. It looks like the judges turned the main house into their forward base. We're going to need help to break through its defences. Ned recommended his three brothers, and if they've been arrested, then they're probably locked up in that barn. Only things going in there are wombats for arming. You'll need a disguise. Shave some fur from the combat wombats.
Let's make this disguise. Lucky for you, I'm a master of guerrilla infiltration tactics. Learn the means of faria. Also, a master of hemming. Yeah, this disguise ought to do the trick. Just head into the barn. Make sure to put this on once you're in there. You should be able to walk right through. Good luck. Another wombat come to be outfitted with the weapons of war. Hmm, step on through. Hold on a minute, that ain't no wombat. It's walking upright. Oh, yes, uh, sometimes wombats do that. No, they don't. That is clearly a wizard disguised as a wombat in a needlessly elaborate ploy to free these three. I am truly getting tired of your new it all attitude. It's a wombat. Uh, come here, little wombat. Crikey. According to these readings, no wombat. You mean the house? No, shut up! Hey, little wombat, don't mind us. We're just gonna sneak right by you. You blithering bloodbat, that's the wizard! Hey, little wizard, don't mind us. We're just gonna sneak right by you. Your allegiances change like the weather, don't they, kid? Come on, lads, let's go find Ned. Not bad, wizard. 
Now let's plan our next move. Let's take me land back. It's the least you can do, given you ran me off it in the first place. You kidnapped two people. Oh, and I suppose you're just a saint from one eye, are you, Judge? Nah, didn't think so. The hostages are fine. Marty's looking after them. Lots of food. All the comforts of home. Well, the judges have sealed themselves inside mine. And they installed a bunch of high-tech defenses from Malibu. I can help you get past the dark turrets if you distract them. The robot sentries just need a good thump on the head. If you get one, I'll get the other. The security shutters use that newfangled electricity. Fortunately, I've an affinity for that sort of thing. I can help you trip the breakers. Once the house is open, you and I will go kick out the rats. All right, boys, let's get to work. Time for the old one-two punch. Easy as pie. It's just a flick of a switch. And done. By the hammer of Tor. Tor's me mate from Willingtown. Likes hammers. Go figure. Get inside while they're getting good. All right, let's go pass sentence on these judges. They just stay out here and collect them as we push them out. Prevented all of this by simply paying your bills. The bills you keep raising, you mean? Taking more of the money we can't make because you blockaded our trade routes? We had to stop the spread of the emu riders. Read your lease. We are not responsible for issues arising from extinct species. You're about to be an extinct species.
house come on this ain't over till we find George Judy ah Ned Corley at last we meet now you face the grand architect of your downfall for it was I who stood Valencia on the park I to bring wombats into me house well, yes, for protection. These floors are gonna need protection when those beasties start leaving steaming cubes everywhere. I don't even want to know what you meant by that. Look it up. After we're done trashing you, that is. Yeah. 
Can you clean this floor with a toothbrush when we're done? And here he is, the man of the hour, the wee little house pup that thinks he's a drover. Throw out all your judge meats. Must not be that far off. I don't give a wombat's cube what you think. I am the law in these parts. What I say goes, and I say you're done. Both of you.
Yes, me sentence got commuted. Ah, uh, let's call it community service. Is that what you think of yourself? That you're some noble rogue? Ha! You're a scoundrel pretending to be a hero to dupe a few rubes. You were trying to steal me land. It's not yours. It ought to be, and it will be. Now that I've got a gaggle of hostages. Now get! Descendants of the spiral outcasts had worked this land for generations. No help, no funds, just us. Just grit. And we made a home here. Yeah, yeah, you did this there for that long. Means nothing. The law is clear. I ain't talking law. I'm talking justice. Justice for generations having to make a life out of sticks and sand while you all fought over dreams. Wizard's got a point. You got one side stuck in a dreamless land, you got another with dreams and no place to realize them. Easy compromise, yeah? No! These dingoes are criminals! Cause you made us that way! But still, you'd have us what? Turn our lands into oaky dude ranches or sell wombat rides for stupid high prices? Actually, yes, that might work. Fits the whole rustic adventurer ethos we're trying to create. I could see their collaboration. I mean, Prince Mario hasn't been a pleasant business partner. Give us a proper pitch and we might devote some resources. So we own the land? We build our own tourist trap and you sell it? Huh. I could maybe agree to that. Finally get to seize our own dream. No, no, no. We will not reward this man, who has raided towns, attacked civilians, and destroyed homes! I'll only agree if Ned Collie stands trial. I might be able to go for that, too. The people know I fight for him. I'm sure I'll be vindicated. The land grabs aren't our only problem. Yeah, I'll get the drivers to leave you be that keeps the judges from seizing lands closer to them. And if... I return their hostage. Fine. I'll show you where she is. Judge from the outback and the one outlander drove her seem okay with her in there. Perfectly fine and... Wait, why are there hoof prints here? Seems someone found your hideout first. We'll guard the exit. Wizard, you can handle this. you to get you lousy nace here these are my hostages and they ain't leaving just cause prince mario says so <sighs> sorry threats boy Tony's in wait wait one second is that the wizard the wizard the one my little bros always whining about luigi de mario 
Prince of House Mario at your service. Well, I say service. I know, I know. People often go blind basking in my presence. But don't. We've got stuff, honor and all that. You offended the family Mario on Nova, so I plumbed the depths of a fallen world for doties. That's us. That's right. To hunt you down and bring you to me. But they failed, of course. And I hear you already scrapped my theme park venture. No big deal. I'm the hunter of giant ghosts, stepper honor of angry mushroom things, and stomper of thwompers. The park was just a hobby, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dingoes, ranchers, disruption. <sighs> oh, sorry. Peasants. Boring. So let's fight! Scion of Bartleby versus Champion of House Mario. Legends in the flesh. And yes, when I defeat you, I will sign your gravestone.
the best power ups. This is what losing feels like. I don't like it. Not a bit. Hate this world. Back to Novus, then. Rematch soon, yes? Oh, finally. Someone's come to free us. We've been living off Marley might for days. Oh, terrible stuff. It is an acquired taste. Now, shall we? No, you shall not. You are still hostages of the collie gang until... Maddie, is that you? It's all right, we made a deal. Oh, then you're all free to go. Under arrest. That I am. That's the deal. Take me back to Hope Springs, Judge. I won't fight. I want me day in court. Mm, we'll see about that. I don't know what you did, Wizard, but it seems I owe you many tars again. Hope you know what you're doing, Ned. I look after things here and arrange a lawyer. I know one who puts on quite a show. And you're the driver Ned Ketchum. Quite. Not what you expect, D Night Wager. Have you made camp yet? Let us go there and I'll tell you my tale. Wizard, I'd like to come along. Freddy's still out there and he's kind of my fault. I want to help you stop him. And meet this nothing again, if I can. Right. First things first. My name is Joan Locke of the Royal Marleybone Cane Resort Expedition. We came here to build a resort, you see. That makes you sound more towny than Drover. It does, doesn't it? That's how it started. But, you see, I wanted the authentic Wallaroo experience. So I did the walkabout. Not the fake simulation they sell you in cities. 
the real thing. I traveled the wastes, dug for drops of dream water, prepared myself to pass the great barrier and enter the dreaming itself. So true was my intent, the drovers let me through. And I dreamt. I lived my hopes in an instant and made them true. The reality? Disappointed. That's when my priorities changed. Fascinating. If you two are close with the drovers, might you help us treat with them? We also seek to pass the Great Barrier. You seem... familiar. But yes, it is the least I can do. The drovers are based in the eucalyptus forest. Follow me. <laughs> 